And on days like today, it may be hard to imagine enjoying that time outside, but mm -hmm. soon enough, hopefully, we'll be back to barbecues, outdoor grilling, and some lawn parties. And just in time to help us get ready for that is the Home and Garden Show. That's where we find the Valley Today's Veronica Marshall this morning. Good morning, Veronica. Good morning, Jordan and Lisa. So I'm here at the Fargo Dome with Rich Laren, and we're going to be talking about how to bring some life back to your yard. And I'm talking about more than just adding plants, but adding people. So Rich, talk to me about how we can make our backyard spaces more comfortable and attractive for entertaining. Well, it all starts with a patio, of course. And probably what you don't know is probably the number one Google term in landscaping nowadays is a fire pit. So we've been doing a lot of fire pits, whether they be wood or gas, natural gas, uh, propane. Uh, that seems to be the gathering spot for most people at night, all throughout the year, even when it gets a little bit colder. And then if somebody asked me 15 years ago if I'd be building outdoor kitchens in Fargo, North Dakota, I would have told them they were nuts. We're probably building anywhere from a dozen to 15 a year. Uh, we're not just building an outdoor pet grill area. We're building an area where they can sit and, and talk when, the, when uh, somebody's grilling and stuff like that, too. So um, one thing I did notice after building outdoor kitchens for a while, too, with the wind we have in North Dakota, if you go buy a natural, or natural gas grill or propane grill and you put it in your yard, the wind sometimes knocks them down. So people are always looking to contain their grill. So we'll actually put them in a structure and then make a patio area out of it, a nice little sitting area. And some of these features you were telling me earlier can be used all year. Yes, they can. Even the outdoor kitchen areas, people are grilling even into the fall and then winter a little bit too. Um, and then the fire pits can be used all year, especially if they're natural gas or propane. Right, and I'm imagining with a fire pit, if I had one, I would do, you know, s'mores in the summer and just a pleasant outside experience in winter. You know, have you heard about any other uses for, you know, the kitchens or the fire pits? Well, the, the thing about fire pits is if you have a wood fire pit, you have to be so far away from a structure. If you have a gas fire pit, it's kind of like an appliance. So you can be a little bit closer to the house. So you're a little bit closer to the kitchen and where the... the the drinks are, of course, so when you're sitting around there. So you can usually put them there, and you can cook s'mores even over a gas or, or natural gas or propane fire pit. All right. Thank you so much, Rich. All right, so we are going to have more coming up. That's it for now. Back to you guys in the studio. It has to be excited for summer. I was just thinking that. <laughs> I think s'mores. both of our moods just lifted. I mean, Veronica, you have to be super excited just like talking and knowing that this is coming up in our season. Oh, I am really excited for this warmth to come back and just to see all these beautiful green spaces. I can't wait. Good stuff. Do the planning now and then you can be Enjoy ready for the warm, warm weather. Yeah. Thank you, Veronica. We'll check in with you guys again soon.